don't be too specific because when you, because you don't have a lot of experience people that have a lot of experience they can be specific because they have pages to fill out but you you can't be that specific because your experience is not that much so what you do is that your particular experience as an intern make it as broad and as big as possible everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is carol and this is carol's republic as you can see i'm wearing the jacket because we are currently in the british isles and it's very very cold here i'm not talking about nigerian hamatan cold i'm talking about cold cold i am in my cabin it's very cold and i have to put on this jacket anyway before i start to talk too long Today, I am going to be addressing some of the questions that you guys asked me. A few days ago, I put on a picture or a post and I asked you guys to please ask me questions or share your questions that you have about working on cruise line with me or working on ships with me. And I'm happy to say that a couple of you responded and I will be responding to those questions right away. So without wasting much time, let's just get down to it, okay? Now, the first question I'll be addressing is from at Ego Daniel. Ego Daniel, at Ego Daniel said, Good evening, please help me send the link to apply, please. I want to first of all address this particular question because this has come to my notice that a lot of Nigerians do not know how to do research. We do not like to read. We just want people to literally help us do everything and just tell us, oh, you have gotten the job, pack your bags and let's go. Now, Mr. or Igor Daniel, this particular response is not for you in particular. I'm just saying it because I've noticed that a lot of people do this. You keep on dropping comments, please send me a link, please do this, please do that. Please let me address you guys. If you take out time to watch my videos, go on the page, watch the videos. There's a place where it says description. If you click on the description, there's a drop down bar that comes out and you see where I put the link to apply for all these jobs. All you have to do is just go an extra mile, read the description, click on the drop down bar and you see a write up on how to apply, especially in all my videos that says how to apply for a job on Princess, how to apply for a, for a job on Carnival, how to apply for a job on Viking, how to apply for a job on Holland America. Those type of videos that I make. When you click on, click on the description, there's always a drop down bar where you see where I have described everything and I have attached links on how to apply for these jobs. Please stop being lazy please you need to research if you can't research how are you going to get this job if you can't research how are you going to do your interview you need to research stop waiting for people to hand you these things that is why anybody that asks me please send me link i don't do that go the links are already on the page when i was doing my own interview and searching for this job the all the all the only information i got was Harden Harden brothers uh, the website I went on the website myself, found where there's careers, found where there's job opportunities, and I applied. You cannot just sit down and be waiting for people to help you to do all these things by yourself. Then I'll now help you, if, if I help you to send you the link, I will see help you to do CV. I will see help you to tell you what to expect. I will see, ah, ah, it's not good. It's not good. Please, we have to try and change this attitude about reading and researching. Let's just try because at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to do your interview yourself. You're the one that's going to make your CV yourself. I'm not offering services like that. If I was offering services like that, I'll ask you, oh, if you can pay me $100, you can pay me $50, I'll help you to do this, I'll coach you, blah, blah. But I'm not offering any services like that. All I'm doing is keep putting you in the right path to be able to, you know, carry on and get this job yourself. So please, always check out for the description there's a drop down bar read it up read up on it and you will see links on how to apply but for the sake of this particular video i'm just going to attach links that i can find because i can't find i don't save these links i just put them post them on my youtube and delete them from my phone so i'm going to go through all these videos 
get the links and I'm attach them underneath this particular video and this is going to be the last time because guys we need to do better okay the next question is from at brother Val bro Val he says I have no experience in cruise ship how can I start I haven't even heard of it before because Nigeria limits people so I'd like to know how to sign up okay so first of all you have no experience in cruise ship, but I'm sure you have experience in whatever job it is that you've been working or you've been doing in Nigeria. Start from there, create your CV, go online or watch my videos, go to the pages on how to apply, find out the criteria and the experiences that they need. If it matches with whatever that you have, draft your CV in that way and then apply for the jobs. But I want you guys to drop this negative mentality of, oh, Nigeria, they limit people, blah, 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 blah. If you are coming with that type of mentality, you will not go far. And that's just the truth. Just forget all that Nigeria is limiting you. Whatever. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nigeria helped me. I was in Nigeria when I got this job, right? So to an extent, all the experiences that I had while in Nigeria, doing my previous jobs in nigeria that's what i've been able to help me to get this job and to be where i am today so yes we all have our challenges nigeria has its challenges but it's not all bad if you understand what i'm saying so just drop that negative vibe and you know whatever experience you have go and try to match it with what they are looking for create your cv create it in a very good direct straight to the point we don't put all that date of birth nationality all those things just your experiences the skills that you have draft your cv and start to apply for this job and i kid you not at least at least one person reply to your to your application the good thing about these people is that if you don't meet the criteria they will tell you oh at this time i'm sorry you do not meet the criteria or at this time we have a volume of too much volume of applicants and we'll hold on to your cv next time we'll get back to you or if there's another opening we'll consider you first they will always get back to you that's the good thing about them so just keep applying and hopefully the slot opens up they reach out to you and you pass your interview okay but please no negative vibe no negative mentality leave nigeria alone nigeria is fine nigeria has helped us to come this far now it's now time for us to gather all our experiences we've had from nigeria and go into the wider world and create something for ourselves okay all right i hope um bravo i hope you get my points i'm not fighting with you i'm just telling you as it is okay all right next person is at Rimona. Rimona said i have recently completed my housekeeping training i only have short experiences as an intern at five star hotel can i apply now or wait until i have more experience what i will tell you is that there is no better time like the present you already say you already have completed the training in housekeeping i'm assuming that you've completed this training that means you have a certification you have a certificate to show that you've done this training right and you have experience as an intern what i advise you to do is draft your cv put that experience as an intern and try to make it as broad as possible don't be too specific because when you, because you don't have a lot of experience people that have a lot of experience they can be specific because they have pages to fill out but you you can't be that specific because your experience is not that much so what you will do is that your particular experience as an intern make it as broad and as big as possible if you experience an intern as an intern oh you used to come early in the morning and you know um attend to some guests who talk to you and ask you something you put it as customer service yes put it as customer service that's also customer service interacting with the guests tell them you are you were in the as an intern you were in the guest facing departments that you've interacted with the guests you also experience you also have experience in customer service because you interacted them you helped them solve some problems blah 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 then also as an intern or oh, your manager put you in charge of um you were in charge of making sure the rooms were tidy blah 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 you also put it that your manager because of your capabilities and abilities your manager puts you in charge of supervising clinical clinical you know supervising some of the um vip you know vip rooms to cater to them because of your disposition on how 
um how attentive you are to detail you have to make even if it's one thing that you were doing that one thing you will break it down and make it into five multiply it because like you said you don't have experience somebody like me now have experience i can have 10 experience me i will need to narrow it down to make it more specific but you you don't have experience so that one thing that you have you have to multiply it and make it into five professional terminologies to make little things look big it's not like you are lying you are not lying you're just making it bigger than it is that's not like you're just exaggerating thank you you're just exaggerating so that's what i advise you to do don't wait create a cv go on the internet on google try to google um housekeeping um cv or resume housekeeping you know jobs find out the kind of cvs that they create and the kind of experiences that they create try to tailor it to the experiences that you have and create it and start applying for these jobs find along the way when you get more experiences you update your cv and you apply for more jobs i don't know if i'm making sense ramona am i making sense i'm making sense right you understand it so don't say oh i don't want to apply now i don't have enough experience i'll wait till i apply <laughs> my dear <laughs> don't kid yourself there is no more there's no better time than the present there's no better time than now so put your cv together start applying for jobs as time goes on when your experiences should increase edit your cv format it add those experiences and apply for even more jobs because you even be better qualified am i making sense i hope i'm making sense and i hope this helps you okay i'm rooting for you good luck okay so finally roseline at roseline that i can't pronounce this at roselyn that something said what do ladies what's the ladies uniform for f and b department roselyn <laughs> first of all let me tell you f and b is the biggest department on cruise ships it's the biggest department when it comes to hospitality in any hospitality field that you find yourself it's food and beverage it's so big it's bigger than it's bigger than any other department because in f and b you have the restaurant you have dining you have the open court where you have the buffet you have people that um, the chefs you have the people that make the sushi you have the second chef you have, it's a very big department so i went around i was asking what do f and b ladies wear people in f and b and you know what people were asking me which one i was like the only one i know is they said there's wait there are waitresses there are waiters in the bar they are bad and those are all those departments are f and b so do i now ask for picture from those waitresses or I ask for picture from the chefs that are in the kitchen cooking or i ask for pictures from people that work in the galley i think galley is even still f and b if it's not f and b is hotel or i ask for pictures from people that work in the horizon that's where you have the buffet or I, yeah different different departments under this f and b f and b is so broad it's so wide so i will try my best to get these pictures for you but i am not promising because it's a it's a very big department i don't know how to i want to start asking people oh can i take a picture of you can i oh i'll just do a research and check on the internet and if i can find any of these pictures i will link them up on this video but if you're watching this video and there's no picture right here or right here just know that i was not able to do that okay okay so guys i am finally done answering your questions i really like when you guys ask me questions because it shows me that you're paying attention you're listening to me and when you ask me these questions i know that it relates to you personally not just when i make videos and i generalize so thank you guys for asking me these questions i hope my answers really helped you out please do not take it personally i am advising you from a place of somebody that is already on ship that is seeing what is already happening and seeing how people are getting on board so i'm trying to help you to make your life easier thank you for partaking in this ask me anything edition hopefully we'll have another one very soon but for now this is all i have for you guys today do not forget to like share and subscribe and uh, if you're watching this i just want to tell you guys i will be leaving this ship very soon my contract is gradually coming to an end and um, i have successfully 
completed almost seven months i'm going to be seven months next week and <sighs> it's been a journey mm, hopefully i'll drop a video next week for you guys or maybe two videos let's see how it goes um like i always say we're a family here please stay with me guys let's grow together share my videos like my videos drop a comment i want to know what you're thinking i want you to help me your comments really help me and lastly do not forget to subscribe okay to be see you again next time my name is carol with an e and this is carol's republic bye